Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't yet know me, I'm Sen, I'm a fourth year medical student here at Cambridge and I've been here since 2016. It's great to have you here on the day of BMAT results, so let's get talking about it. I want to make this quick video today to talk about the BMAT 2020 results, what they mean for you and how you should move on next, regardless of how you did. We all know given COVID, rather funny A-level predictions and this whole kerfuffle, with medical school applications this year, the BMAT was an important exam. But you've got to realize, medical schools realize that the BMAT did not go as it should have done. And so some students would have done much worse than they would have expected to. I've heard many stories of people's BMAT experiences this year. Some students, their internet crashed at school, the portal didn't work for them. Others had five minutes less than they should have received for the whole BMAT. The shift that we saw this year to an online BMAT was not the smoothest. And I must say, all of you should be incredibly proud of yourself for sticking through with it through these tough times. It would have been so easy for you to just focus on the UCAT and apply to UCAT only universities this year. You've now got to realize what's coming up next. Medical schools realize that the BMAT may not have gone as well. And so I feel as of this year, they'll call more candidates for interviews than they would have originally. I really feel they'll prioritize your predicted grades and your personal statement when calling you in for interview. Now, those of you who said the BMAT most likely you applied to Imperial, UCL, Oxford, Cambridge, Brighton and Sussex. Uh, and a few other universities that use a BMAT. And so you've got to now realize that interviews are the things that are popping up next. Given that BMAT is over, I wouldn't dwell too long on your results. Now, if they were severely not in line with what you expected, then I suggest you do appeal your results for the BMAT. When I said the exam, I never knew appealing was actually a thing you could do, but it turns out that many people every year do appeal their results. And sometimes people's results do go up, other times they may go down or they may stay the same. So if you really think that you performed better than what mark you've been given, then it might be very worthwhile for you to investigate this by appealing. This could make all the difference to application, but I'm not necessarily saying everyone should appeal. That's only in exceptional cases. Moving on, however, interviews are next. And so it's really important that regardless how the BMAT went, you start preparing for the next stage of medical school interview. Even if you don't expect it, you might get medical school interviews. And so it's of paramount importance that you prepare for these interviews anyway, because the last situation you want to be in is a situation where you've thought the BMAT has gone really badly, that you're not going to get any interviews, you don't prepare at all for five, six weeks for interviews, turns out UCL sends you an interview and you have not prepared at all for the last few weeks and that means you'll screw up your interview. This is not worth it at all and that's why I really want to encourage all of you to trudge on as if you haven't even done the BMAT. Forget about the BMAT, forget it's part of the application process, the interview is the next stage for you to impress medical schools. You've got to realise medical school applications as being a sequence of opportunities for you to impress them as much as you can. The reason why you applied to medicine is because you had reasonably good school grades and clearly you thought this was impressive. You then impress them with your personal statement. Then you hopefully have impressed them with your BMAT. And if you haven't, well, the interviews are the next opportunity to impress them. And the more you impress them in whatever way or form you can, that's the most important thing here. Trust me, people with BMAT scores lower than what you'd expect are, you know, standard for typical medical schools. People with lower scores still get in. Uh, and it happens all the time. So do keep in mind that even if you have a BMAT score that isn't the most ideal, given this year's circumstance, there's still a very good chance that you can get interviews. And if you do get that interview, if you impress them, even with the not so good BMAT score, you can still manage to get an offer. Now, for those of you who done well in the BMAT, of course, congratulations to you as well. Um, you know, people in every exam do well and do not so well. And it's important to address both sides. So really well done to you guys. You worked very hard and you got the rewards. But again, don't get complacent. I know even at my school, there were kids who got far higher BMAT scores, who got quite complacent, didn't prepare as much as they should have for interviews and therefore struggled in interviews. And like I said before, every stage is about impressing medical scores in a different way. So yes, if you do have an impressive BMAT score, well now you've got to make sure you equally impress them at interview. Because if you fall flat on your face in an interview, then even with your fantastic BMAT score, you won't get an offer. So I hope this video uh, about the BMAT was a bit of motivation for you guys to keep preparing regardless of what the outcome today was for you. And I wish you all the best of luck with your preparation. Of course, as you guys can see, I do have the interview masterclass being released at the moment and there should be a video going up tomorrow. And in addition to that, I've just upgraded my live stream setup. For those of you who usually join me in live streams, uh, you realize that my MacBook Pro, even though it's the high-end one from 2016, is starting to die. So I've got a new Mac Mini M1, which is powering my whole setup back here. And it's working fantastically well. So please do join me in live streams if you are free and also go follow me on Instagram. If this video was somewhat useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Cheerio.